There she is, guys. I've always wanted to have my own picnic table. Okay, so it's the next day. I took a towel and wiped these down uh, with water to get that sawdust off of them. I went ahead and got this fairly expensive paint, uh, deck paint. It's got kind of a gritty, it's very thick. It's got kind of a gritty feel to it. Started painting, had the family do it, help me. Great family project. We've done the top side. There's five planks, two of them you sit on, and then three in the middle. These are drying in the sun. We've got sunlight today. And I've got one more plank over there. But anyway, the uh, sanding and painting of these is nearly complete. And we just finished five minutes ago. It's already almost dry. Definitely hope it's not sticky. You know, this is a deck paint. This is not actually the type of wood that they said to use. Um, literally, Lowe's had only had about eight of these two by tens eight of them and i got the six best the five best of them um and they even these aren't perfect because some of them have some of them have cracks in them and stuff this is what the wood did look like and now that's what it does look like very happy this looks like it's dry already it's a little sticky but i'll give it 20 minutes flip it over and we're slopping the paint on heavy, man. Real heavy. I want these things protected and I want them smooth. And I don't want splinters. To put even I don't want splinters. That's what I'm worried about, splinters. Getting a little help from the family. Mostly painted. The little daughter's in there, but she's not helping. <laughs> I pulled a Tom Sawyer on my family. That is my trash pile. I've been clearing all that stuff out. Putting that stuff here. I'm going to get a wood chipper or something. I don't know. But that park bench is going to go right there, I think. Alright, this is what I was talking about. The wood. This was one of the best pieces. I, had to, I, I didn't want to choose this, but you see how it has that crack? I'm just going to put tons I'm going to turn it up upside down when it's on the table. I'm going to put tons of paint in that and just not worry about it. Okay, I've gotten to this level now where I'm putting together the bottom part, the legs, lots of bolts. Um, I got these pieces together. Not sure, but it seems small. I'm, I'm thinking of a park bench and it just seemed like those are bigger. But these planks are 10, 10, 10. It's about 30 inches across, so I'm gonna have to somehow connect those. I'm following the instructions to those, flip it over, and then I gotta put on the benches those two table legs out, table planks outside. It's coming along, man. It's a good project, it's a lot of work. It's really hot today. We're in the 90s. I'm in the shade though, pouring water in my head. It's a great project, just it is a lot of work. I'm very happy though. I just want to get it up and running and get it out there. Okay, I just got that piece on. It took a lot of finagling because to get that screw in and that screw in over there and that I had to loosen that, move it, move it, loosen, tighten, loosen. So 
if you ever do a project like this don't tighten everything up you know and I knew that and I didn't do that but I had to finagle it just don't tighten things up too soon until you're finally ready all right let's finish this up there she is guys I've always wanted to have my own picnic table for various projects thinking ham radio I hear have dinner I might drill a hole in the middle and see that umbrella right there it actually has a solar on the top and lights I might drop that in the middle typically though if you have to have an umbrella it's too hot <laughs> um, anyway it was a lot of just it wasn't super hard it was just a lot of manual labor you have to be careful when you drill through if you pop too through through too hard you do this get in a hurry I can fill that in and I can repaint it not a big deal also I had some white on my uh, saw horses got a little white on there no big deal I can touch that up and stuff a little bit of roughness here but I don't mind that I mean you know it's funny I was building this and I'm like man where should I put this tool because I've been putting it on the chairs and on the ground I'm like oh I have a table I just put it on the table this thing is so awesome it's huge so I made you can kind of decide how far up and back you want the seat you know you can't go too crazy but I made this side a little bit further back than that side I thought maybe kid side adult side maybe only by about an inch but Anyway, I'm going to sit in it. Tell me what you think. One of the first things I'm going to do, I'm going to put bug spray all over the legs. Tons of bug spray around it. That way they don't even just start building, you know. I'm just going to preempt that right away. Not sure where to put it. I'm awfully tired. I, I might put it more over here. I'm so tired. That thing is really heavy. Let me show you. Take, look, watch this. I made this from a kit where basically you get the legs you get all the hardware all the bolts the instructions and all the metal you just got to bolt it together get the wood yourself and I basically got the wood yesterday painted it today still a little sticky there's some spots where it was a little wet before I started anyway super excited I see me doing ham radio right here man antenna down here it was cool about having your own park bench is that you can put little loops and stuff on here like your own you can drill your own i don't know tools and accessories and hooks and all kinds of things there all right guys thanks for joining me